In this video, we'll go through what you need to change if you're either adding in or upgrading from an older Titan to the 3000 series. If you already have a tool library and styles created in AlphaCam, you can edit them so they'll work with your new Titan. Let's go look at the machine profiles first. If you don't already have one, you'll want to set up a profile for your 3000 series. In this example, I'm going to set up a 3700. So I select the machine model from the dropdown. I give it a name. I'll use the default table template and then make sure the post processor is correct for the 3000 series. And I'll probably want to change the default MPF DXF location to my Titan's G code folder through the network. Those are the only necessary fields. So I'll save and then save all and close. Now I'll have a Titan 3700 under my machine profile select. So when I select that profile, it will use the right table template, it will select the correct post processor, and send my finished program to the correct machine. Nothing will change on my Titan toolbar when I select between two different Titans. What will probably be different is AlphaCam's tool library, which we'll find under the Machine tab and select Tools. This tool library was built for my Titan 2700, and I'm going to set up my 3700 library the same way. If I'm going to use the exact same tools in the exact same locations, nothing will have to change for the tools that I have physical locations for at the machine. In this case, both the 2700 and the 3700 have 34 tool locations. The differences will be with the tools that do not have locations at the machine that we have to swap in and out. Now this set of seven tools we've chosen to name 40 through 46. And since they are swap tools, we've chosen to use the number and offset of 21 through 27. And those are the only positions that we can swap this set of tools to at the machine. The 3700 works different in this area. So let's start by making two separate tool libraries. Take note of where our tools are stored, the C drive, AlphaCam, Lycom DAT, and an S Tools folder. We'll browse to that location through File Explorer, as it's easier to make our edits there. We'll browse to the S Tools folder location, Local Disk C, AlphaCam, Lycom DAT, and then we can double click to open the S Tools folder. You'll notice that the names of the files are the same as the names of the tools in our tool library. We'll need to right click with the mouse in an area that's not on an image or icon. We'll choose New and then Folder from the window that pops up. I'm going to name this folder Titan 2700 for my existing machine and then I'll take the same steps to make another folder for my Titan 3700, which I'll name accordingly. Now I'm going to make a copy of all my 2700 tools. I'll click to select my first tool file, then I'll hold down my shift key and select the last one. When I see they're all highlighted or selected, I'll right click and choose Copy. Now I'll scroll back to my Titan 2700 and right click on that and choose Paste. And we should see that this folder is no longer empty, but it has files in it. And since our Titan 3700 is going to have the same or similar tools in it, we can paste a copy in there as well. Then we'll edit them as needed. We're going to delete all the tools out of the S Tools folder. But first, let's verify 
that all the tools did get copied into our new Titan folder. Double click on the folder to open it and verify that we were successful in pasting all of the tools into this folder. Now I can comfortably go back to the S Tools folder and select all my tools to delete them by right clicking and choosing Delete. And this will leave me with only two separate machine folders. These folders won't show up in my S Tools folder until I refresh it by closing it and reopening it again. Now we'll be able to use or edit each machine's tool library independently. Just double click on either folder to open it. We shouldn't need to edit the older Titans library unless we're changing tools at this time, but we will need to edit the Titan 3000 series, even if we're using the exact same tools. In this case, my tools 1 through 34 are okay because they have the same name, number, and offset. This tool that we've named 40 from the 2700 will have to be edited because the tool number and offset have already been used in the tool we named 21. These numbers are now called tool ID numbers on the 3000 series, and we can't have two different tools with the same ID. You can click on the name to change it. I'm going to leave mine at 40. So I'll change both the number and offset to 40 as well by going to the tool name and right clicking on it so I can choose Edit Tool. And we'll change both the tool number and the offset to 40, then we'll click OK. And we'll use the same name with 40 in it and yes to overwrite the settings of the existing tool. This tool is now correct for the Titan 3000. We'll enter it into the machine's library as tool ID 40. And we'll repeat this process with the other six tools in this set. Right click, choose Edit Tool, and then change the number to 41 and the offset to 41. Click OK, Save, Yes, and OK. Continue and complete all the tools in this set, following the format of matching the name, the number, and the offset that aren't being used by any other tool. Repeat this process with all tool sets, making sure each has its unique ID number. This includes all utility tools as well, like this engraver. I'll use 100 for the name, the number, and offset. I can use any number between 1 and 300 as long as it's not already used. And this tool library is now set up properly to program the Titan 3000. So I'll close out of my tool library now that both machines are completed. The other thing we'll have to add and edit are the styles for our new machine. I already have styles that I've used to program my 2700. And here again, all my styles for my one machine are saved in one location. So just like my tool libraries, I'm going to make two separate folders for each machine's styles. First take note of the location, and then we'll browse to it again through File Explorer. And the path was Local Disk C, Alpha Cam, Lycom Dir, and the Styles folder. So we'll browse there. Local Disk C, Alpha Cam, Lycom Dir, and then we'll open the Styles folder, where we'll see all of our styles. This is also the location where we'll want to make our new folders one for the Titan 2700 and one for the Titan 3700. Since the Titan 3700 has different tool properties in its tool library, means we need to adjust our styles to use those tools and their properties. So, 
select all your styles, and then copy them, and then paste a copy into each of your new folders. And before we delete all these styles, I'll open both folders to make sure our copy was successful. After confirming that they were copied, I'm comfortable deleting the originals. Now I'll minimize my file explorer and refresh the view of my machine styles by going to a different tab and then back to machine styles tab. So I can see both of my new folders and I can open one to see the contents. I can just use and won't need to change any of the styles in my 2700 folder because I haven't changed any of the tools that the styles use. We did, however, change some of the properties of the tools in the 3700 folder. So styles using those tools will have to be edited. We can view those tools by going to the Select tool and then to the Titan 3700 tool library. We didn't edit any of the tools that had a physical location on the machine, in this case 1 through 34. We changed tools 40 through 46 and the engraving tool, tool 100. We changed tool number and offset for those tools so each could have their own unique ID. So let's find which styles those tools were used in. We'll open each style to see its contents. This style only has one operation, which uses the core bit, tool 1. I'll close that one and open the next one, which only has one operation using the finger bit, tool 2. So we'll work our way through all of our styles until we find a style that uses tools that we have changed. We won't have to change tools 3 and 4 in this style, but we will have to change tools 40 through 46. I'll start with the first tool, number 40. I'll right click and choose edit. Here I can see the tool's name, which is correct, but what needs to be updated is under tool data, the tool number and offset. The easiest way to bring in all the tool properties is go back to the general tab and choose change tool and make sure you're in the correct machine folder and then find the correct tool to replace it with. Here's tool 40 with tool number 40 and offset 40. Double click on the name and you'll see the tool at the end of your arrow. Then click anywhere in the screen to select it as active. Then go to the tool data tab and verify that the correct properties were brought into this operation. And tool 40 is number 40 and offset 40. We can click OK and then OK again to complete updating this operation in this style. The next tool in this style is tool 41. We'll right click and choose edit operation. And then change tool, scroll through the proper folder to find the correct tool, double click on the name and then click anywhere in the drawing to select it as active. Confirm it's the correct tool by going to Tool Data and verifying the properties. Then click OK and click OK again to complete this operation. Repeat this process and update each operation with the new tool in this style and then scroll through all the other styles and update the tools in any operations needed. In my example, that was the only style we needed to change. But be thorough and double check. And that completes updating our styles. The changes are automatically saved. To program, just select the correct machine profile and choose the styles from the same machine's folder. And if you do programming without a style, like the engraving bit, make sure you select the tool from the same machine's tool library. Otherwise, your method of programming stays the same. Thank you 
for choosing Park Industries.